Guten Abend, liebe Zuschauer. Ich begrüße Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I heartily welcome you here at Klagemauer TV. As you might hear in my voice, I'm a little hoarse, yet I would still like to talk to you because of the precarious situation the world is in. After the firing of the Malaysian airliner MH17 in eastern Ukraine, the tension in the area of crisis is increasing even more. General Breedlov, the NATO commander-in-chief, wants to move an additional main NATO headquarter to Stettin on the German-Polish border as quickly as possible, the German Economic News report. They continue saying that in a short time, armor as well as supply camps are to be installed to be able to intervene against the Russians in a short while. The goal is to be ready and in order to be able to march against Russia with thousands of soldiers at a moment's notice. Moldavia, too, has been drawn into war preparations without having been asked, drawn into because Moldavia was coerced by the USA to be their ally. That at least is the view of the president of the Social Democrats in Moldavia, Viktor Shalin. He confirms that these days a special contingent of U.S. officers has arrived in Moldavia, which exercise with soldiers and officers on all of the army's training grounds. He reports... Our soldiers are prepared to destroy real targets in real war. He continues to say, if you consider that the U.S. Senate declared Moldavia a war ally of the USA in the past weeks, you can speak of it being a transition into an active phase of preparing our military forces for war missions. He goes on to say, We officially ask the government and our parliament to publicly declare that Moldavia is resisting an alliance with the USA. But the most important thing is, the parents of the soldiers are demanding that the parliament and the government to declare that Moldavia does not want to engage in a war. According to the Moldavian constitution, it is a neutral state. If the politicians are not going to listen to us, they should listen to the parents. It's the same in Ukraine, where parents do not want to let their children go to war. Our army should only become active when defending our home, our families, our country and our belongings. Also in Ukraine, a mobilization has been taking place in the last few days. Military drafts were sent to the young men of Ukraine. But courageous mothers and fathers resisted the military draft by the government. It went so far that mothers burned the military draft letters before the eyes of the present commander. They unanimously cried, we do not let our sons go to war, we do not send our children to death, we do not want any war. We were told that the police would punish those who would resist the military drafts. It is an official command to a general mobilization, we don't need that, we don't need a war at all. It is an official command to a general mobilization. We know these kind of stories. They told us that those who resist this mobilization would face five years in prison. We do not want your country and your war. Military drafts. Military drafts. Are we conscious of what's happening here right in front of our door? Or are we still feeling safe and secure in letting ourselves be taken in by the war and hate propaganda of the media, which is only aiming at a readiness to approve of a war against Russia? Use the time to inform yourself and other citizens here at KTV and other uncensored sources. Thereby, you'll find the courage and strength to take the right decisions when it's time, like these mothers and fathers in Ukraine have done. Thank you for your attention. Have a good evening.